Welcome back, my name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. Today I'm going to showcase why a boomerang might actually be an okay choice to use in Don't Starve Together, as, of course, if you're playing pretty much any character, but nonetheless playing as Wartox. Normally when you approach a boomerang, you probably look at it and say, okay, this thing sucks, I really don't think I'm ever going to use it, but let's talk about why you really should. Recently when I was playing Wartox, I came across a boomerang and said to myself, um, wait a minute here, maybe I should start being a little bit more kind to the boomerang. Generally speaking, a boomerang is something that you don't really want to make too much in DST as it really doesn't do much for an average player. Yes, you can go out in there and get a bunch of birds and guess what? That's probably the best thing that you can do with them because that's kind of what it's for. Gathering yourself some gathering yourself some jet feathers, which of course feathers in general, I mean obviously are a little bit good if you know what to do with them. But let's not talk about feathers today. Let's just talk about why boomerangs are so unique. When it comes to feathers, or when it comes to boomerangs, I keep saying feathers, you have yourself one board, which is four logs, one silk, and one charcoal. It's an okay amount to actually come out with a little bit of what you're actually going to need in order to gather a ton of souls from basically killing things by just holding control F and holding space bar in order for the boomerang to actually land inside of your hand. That way you don't take damage of accidentally getting hit from it. So if I don't press space bar, I'm going to take a little bit of damage. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's obviously not ideal, when, especially when all you got to do is hold space bar. And before you know it, you're going to be sitting there with literally 20 souls. So this is why boomerangs are so amazing at getting yourself some souls as war talks. There's plenty of other ways to do things with boomerangs, but let's just talk about souls today and as wise this is probably one of the easiest way to get them as you can see in a matter of me just talking for the last minute and a half i've now accumulated over 20 souls i've shown you multiple different ways how to get more souls as war talks whether it's basically wearing bramble husks and killing a bunch of bees or just in general going around and killing a bunch of butterflies but boomerangs are actually a great resource for doing this as they don't really require too much and guess what the outcome is pretty damn good and even if you accidentally get hit requires what like one little tiny soul and you're back to full hp pretty damn good well thanks again for watching i'll see you in the next one